hello everyone in today's video i'll show you what i have built by learning the nextjs and strapi using brad travis course and i have built this trailblazer events clone app it's similar to the salesforce trailblazer event website so in this app i have the heading with a cool banner and then you can see a list of upcoming events and these events are specific to salesforce events and these are the dummy data so don't go with the data and now you can see the events are there dreamforce is coming there is a search bar by typing here you can search about your event and if you want to publish your event you can log in into this app and if you don't have a credential you can register yourself by clicking on register but if you are, have already a login id so or credential you can go to login and once you logged in you will land on the dashboard and you can see all the events published by you and you can manage those events you can delete the event you can edit the event so if i click on edit it will allow me to edit the details of the particular event update the image of the event and for image we are using cloudinary to store the images and if i go back if i want to add a new event i can click on add event and i can add another event here and if I go back to a dashboard, I can see if I want to delete, I can click on this icon. And if I go back to events, if I want to see the full detail of the event, I can click on details. And the same event list is available on the dashboard as well, like on the main page where we have an upcoming event. And it's built in a way if there are more than five events, you will get a button called show more. And on click of that, you will navigate to the events again. So if I click on detail to view the more details, you can get a good size image, your heading, timings, performer names, description, venue with the map. We are using map box here for the map and you'll get that address. So this is the app we have built and it's a pretty cool app to learn end to end scenarios, how front end works, how back end works, how you use Strapi for a CMS, how you deploy the Strapi to Heroku and how you deploy the front end to Vercel and how Next.js works, why Next.js is better than React.js. I would say like Next.js is a framework of React.js and it's very popular nowadays. So all the concept of authentications and role management you can learn in this particular example. So that was my learning from last seven days and it's pretty cool. I hope you like my app. Thank you.